Hello and welcome to the 2013 Ohio High School Mock Trial State Championship Round Competition. I'm Caitlin Schultz with Ohio Government Telecommunications. The Ohio Center for Law-Related Education holds this statewide competition every year and it culminates in this championship round that will begin in a few minutes. We are coming to you from the Ohio State House on Capitol Square in downtown Columbus. The room that we're in right now is the Finance Hearing Room and it is currently a hearing room for Ohio Senate committees, but it served as the temporary Senate chambers during the State House restoration in the 1990s. This room itself was restored during that time, and special care was taken to match paint colors and other details to their original state. When the building was originally constructed, however, this room was the law library for the Supreme Court of Ohio, which makes it an appropriate setting for today's mock trial. In 1901, the Supreme Court heard cases here in the Senate building and the room directly above us. Today, the third branch of Ohio government has its own beautiful and historic building, the Thomas J. Moyer Ohio Judicial Center, just a block away from here on Front Street. Today, two teams of students from Orange High School in Pepper Pike, Ohio, and Indian Hill High School from Cincinnati will argue a case before a panel of judges. They've been preparing for this as a team since September, when the, Ohio, when the high school mock trial case was released at the Ohio Center for Law-Related Education's annual Law and Citizenship Conference. Each year, a group of volunteer attorneys create an original case about a current constitutional issue that is interesting for high school students. After the case is released, the mock trial teams work with an attorney or judge to prepare their case. In fact, each team prepares for both the prosecution and defense perspectives of the case, but will only argue one side today. Orange and Indian Hill High Schools have advanced through three different levels of competition to make it to the state championship. The winning team will advance to the national tournament, which will take place in Indianapolis, Indiana. Let's learn more about the specifics of the case that the students have been preparing for over the past few months. The 2012-2013 case is titled State of Ohio versus Dakota Allen. The case is related to the 5th and 14th Amendments to the United States Constitution, which are commonly referred to as the right of due process. In this case, a building behind Phillips High School burns down during the night and a maintenance worker is killed. The fire appears to be the result of arson, but there is little evidence regarding the perpetrators. Dakota Allen is a sophomore at Phillips High School. The morning after the fire, local police pick up Dakota and friend Quinn Patel at their homes. The police then engage in a lengthy interrogation process that involves driving to the scene of the crime and the victim's home, as well as various interrogation techniques. Late in the day, Dakota makes a statement claiming responsibility for the fire and is subsequently charged with murder and arson. However, Dakota later recants the confession. Dakota is the defendant in this case and has alleged that the statements were improperly coerced by the police in violation of the 5th and 14th Amendments. Dakota filed a motion to suppress. Dakota will argue the confession must be excluded. The state of Ohio is the prosecution in this case. The prosecution will argue that Dakota Allen's motion to suppress should be denied because no custodial interrogation took place and Dakota Allen's confession was voluntary and not coerced.